All right, new CSGO update, let's go. But of course they had to drop it when I'm in the middle of a sinus cold. So yeah, if I sound weird, that's why. And goddamn, is it a big one. Take a look at this, guys. We have a brand new operation that was just dropped into CSGO, Operation Riptide. This is honestly absolutely insane. I know this operation adds a ton of stuff, so let's take a quick second here to go through all of it. Of course, we do have the Operation Pass again. My guess is it's probably gonna be $15 USD like it's been for the past however many years. We'll take a look at that in game here in a second though. For this year's mission coin, it looks like this is what it looks like. Of course, we got bronze, silver, gold, and diamond tiers, with bronze being the worst and diamond being the best. And in my opinion, these actually look really cool. Getting right into what this operation adds though, we're gonna start it off with the private queue. We can now finally make our own private premiere matches on Valve official servers. It looks like here, it's, it's basically just an easier way to set up a private lobby. Yeah, you were able to invite your friends to a lobby before, but you couldn't only play with your friends. You would be paired up against other random people. This, it looks like it'll finally let you pair up with only your friends playing against and with them, which is pretty cool. We can see here too, if we scroll down, we have players private queue and Steam group private queue as well. So I'm guessing these are just different ways you can add friends into your queues. Moving on down to the reward system page. Of course, we're gonna have that rewards page just like we did with the past couple of operations. If you guys aren't sure how the operations work with CSGO, basically you're completing missions that will reward you with stars and you use those stars to buy rewards from the operation rewards page. This is what it looks like apparently, but we'll also take a look at this here in game in a second. Following that list of stuff that the operation adds here, of course, we got new agents. We got a new case, the Riptide case, which to be honest, was not the case I was expecting to see. We have not three, but four brand new skin collections this time, which is honestly super dope. And the cool part about these is it looks like they're kind of renewing other collections that were made in the past. So we got the Train, Mirage, Dust 2, and Vertigo collections, but they're all the 2021 version. Of course, too, we have the Operation Riptide patches, the Riptide stickers, and even some Surf Shop stickers, which is pretty cool. Okay, so this is kind of cool, and to be honest, is this something I don't fully understand quite yet, but it looks like they kind of revamped how some of the missions work. Like I said, I'm not exactly sure what this is saying here, but we'll try to check it out in game here in a second. Okay, okay, this is, this is the game-changing stuff. This is the insane stuff. Operation Riptide features a new way to play your favorite game modes from short competitive matches to team deathmatch. There is something for everyone. And starting this off, it looks like they added the Riot Shield to heavy weapons for CT and casual hostage maps, which is gonna be quite interesting. Following that here, we got short matches. You can finally play comp matches, but choose the length for how long it could be. So I guess like if you're in a time crunch, but you wanna play some comp, this would be the way to go. Following that, we have free for all deathmatch and team deathmatch now, which is actually pretty cool. I feel like they're just kind of copying COD and some other games with this, but in my opinion, that's pretty cool. And something I thought we were never gonna see since they haven't added it in, in the past eight to nine years of CSGO is droppable grenades. We finally have the ability to drop grenades. And some more gameplay changes listed here. For the M4A1S, it now does more damage to the body. It looks like the Deagle's been nerfed, so it does a bit less, which is kind of unfortunate. And it looks like they also made the duelies cheaper, which is just annoying. For map changes, they blocked the visibility of mid from T spawn on Dust2. Are you kidding me? That is going to completely change how you play mid on that map. That's absurd. And for demolition and arms race, it looks like demolition got a tune up to be a bit more fast paced and the arms race weapon collection sequence been tweaked a little bit. On top of that, you're also going to get health pens too now if you're on a roll, which is, I guess that's kind of cool. No one really plays those game modes though, so eh, it's whatever. Of course though, we got new maps here within this operation. We got Basalt here. Next up, we got County. Then we got Ravine. We got Extraction here. And last but not least, we have Insertion 2. This map has been hyped for so long. I'm actually really, really stoked to see this added to the game. I know Anomaly is a huge fan of this map and he's made multiple videos about it. So I'm super hyped to play this. Of course, with every operation, we also get some brand new agent skins or a brand new agent collection. This time we got the Riptide agent collection. I'm just gonna kind of scroll through these a little bit on the quicker side here, just cause I don't wanna make this video super long, but it looks like some of these are looking pretty cool here. T side, they look okay, but okay. I did see a little sneak peek of these. The CT side ones, they look super, super cool. Like, look at some of these. This guy is absurd. This guy, okay, this guy is next level. And then we got some others up in here as well. They also look pretty good in my opinion. Definitely better than the last collection in my opinion, if you ask me. But I don't know. I, I like these a lot. Of course, too, with that new Riptide case, we've got all sorts of new skins being added to the game. We'll start it off here by taking a look at the Desert Eagle Ocean Drive. This thing looks absolutely insane. Next, we got the AK-47 Leet Masio. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but this is... Uh, I think it's okay. I'm not the biggest fan of this one. For pink tier skins, we got the SSG-08 Turbo Peak. We got the Glock 18 Snack Attack. 
and then we got the mag 10 toy box and again i'll just quickly go through some of these other skins i will say some of the purple tier skins look absolutely absurd oh wait a second i reviewed this one in one of my reviewing creator skins videos that's sick but yeah most of these skins look pretty cool so i'm super happy to see these of course here's a little bit of a closer look at the riptide sticker collection i guess these are some of those stickers we got the operation riptide patch collection here as well and then a quick look at the riptide surf shop stickers these aren't the biggest deal to me but i figured i'd put them in here anyways moving on to the weapon collections though because i know this is what all of you guys want to see i'm just gonna go over the high tier skins again just to keep this on the shorter side for the train 2021 collection we got the m4a4 coalition this thing looks absurdly cool we got the glock 18 gamma doppler okay we got the famas meltdown the mag 10 propaganda and the usps whiteout okay i have to say these two red tier skins are absolutely next level i want these right now for the mirage collection here we got the op desert hydra this thing looks insane we got the desert eagle fennec fox as well and then we also got the mp5 sd oxide oasis i will say apparently the train collection is the only one that has two red and three pink tier skins the rest of these only have one red tier and two pink tier which is kind of interesting for the 2021 dust 2 collection we've got the ak-47 gold Ab i don't know how to say that i'm not even gonna try this thing looks pretty cool though we got the ssg08 death strike and then we also have the ump fade which is pretty cool and last but not least here for the 2021 vertigo collection we got the m4a1s imminent danger we got the sg553 hazard pay and we got the 57 fall hazard and uh, it looks like that pretty much wraps it up for this update i'll drop this update page down in the description for you guys if you want to check out the other collections but yeah that's pretty much everything it adds so now let's hop into csgo and just take a quick look at that all right now hopping into csgo real fast of course we got the operation update so we got that little newsletter right there and the entire home page of csgo has been altered quite a bit of course we got the massive operation operation logo and right below that we got the operation shop now quickly going over the past like i said it is going to be $14.99 or $15 usd for those of you who are wondering yes you have to buy this in game now whether you buy the pass or not you can still play the operation missions and basically you're just going to do what i did here where you click play missions and then either continue with the free version or activate a battle pass if you did buy one of course too we have the brand new operation weapon shop this is what it looks like in game for this year's operation and in my opinion it actually looks pretty good moving on over to the play menu as well because there are a bunch of changes made here like you guys saw you have the ability to queue for private matches now which you basically are going to use this toggle switch here for and you're just going to follow the directions that they provide you here with in game right next to that toggle switch though you can also choose your match length like we were talking about before where you can basically choose how long you want your comp game to be which is super cool of course they still have that ranked matches option over here on the right but next to that they also have open party which you can toggle on and off too which is pretty cool and as we saw too for death match they added two new styles and basically if you would want to play one of those new styles you would come over to the deathmatch page you would click choose style up here on the top left and this is where you're going to select whether you want to do team versus team free for all or classic deathmatch anyways that pretty much wraps it up for this csgo operation update if you guys did enjoy this video definitely make sure you guys smash that like button and subscribe for more csgo and operation content and uh yeah thank you guys for making it this far in the video and i'll see you guys all in the next one peace